Hi, this is Dave, Fellow Running Guide. Just a quick video on compass bearings. So what does it mean if we're talking about uh, I'm walking on a compass bearing of so many degrees? Well, on the left, I've got a picture of a compass and we can see it's got a dial with numbers on it. And these numbers correspond to north, south, east, west and everything in between. So if we were to start with north, that is zero degrees. And then we go around each of these is two degrees. And then we get 20, 40, 60, 80. East, due east is 90 degrees. And then increasing all the way around to south, which is 180 degrees. Increasing again, west is 270 degrees. And then we've got 280, 300, 320, 340, back to north, which is 360 degrees. And then it starts again at zero. Um, so what, what does that actually mean on a map then? Well, let us imagine that we're at this point here, where this public footpath crosses these blue um, lines. So these are grid lines. The map is made so that the top is north bottom is south so this grid line runs north south on the map left on the map is west so this grid line runs from west to east so if we then marry that up with the numbers starting at zero going down to 90 180 270 360 if we were at that point there and we were wanting to walk up to this path here we'd be going on a bearing a northerly bearing um, very close to zero if we wanted to walk or look at this trig point here from there to there well we can see it's almost due east so it's almost 90 degrees away from us from here if we were wanted to identify this stream here well it's to the south of us so it's 180 degrees away from us or close to 180 degrees away from us likewise if we were here and we wanted to walk to this wall corner here it's very close to due west a little bit more so it's just more than 270 degrees so i can explain that a bit further so i want you to look at this number here underneath where it says a bearing so let's imagine that we were there at our point and we wanted to walk and we wanted to walk up this path here well remember if we were going due west we'd be going at 270 degrees if we were going due north we'd be going at zero degrees or 360 and this path is between the two it's between west and north so it's northwesterly so we can see here the bearing going up that path is 308 degrees what about if i wanted to identify this cairn up here well again it's between north zero and east 90 between the two and it's slightly closer to east than it is to north and you can see there that gives a bearing of 57 degrees what about coming down this path here we're actually going uphill but down in a southeasterly direction we'd expect it to be more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees and we can see the bearing given up in that little box there is 123 degrees so in this example here i've got a compass and i've got the red needle pointing to n on the dial there and then that's called my direction of travel arrow and that reads 60 degrees so in this instance this arrow here is pointing at something in the landscape that is 60 degrees away from me so that is in a northeasterly direction. True northeast would be 45 degrees, exactly halfway between north and east. So this is a bit closer to east. So I'm actually looking at something in a east northeasterly direction. So 
if for example i'd said i was at a wall corner and i'd identify identified uh, a major landscape feature that was 60 degrees away from me and you thought oh dave's talking about this wall corner and this cairn well it can't possibly be that because uh, if i just start a route then that direction there is much too close to north to be 60 degrees so you can, again you can see just read that little bearing there could it be that trig point well no that's still not 60 degrees so 60 degrees has to be somewhere closer to that there so that's what i'm talking about when i'm talking about um, a compass direction or compass bearing and identifying it or relating that to something on the map so a quick recap if you're going straight up the map you'd be going 360 or zero straight east would be 90 degrees and same with south 180 degrees west 270 and everything in between is a um, a mix of west and north so northwest northeast southwest southeast etc so hope that was useful